Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jada, as you already know. I mean, who else? Unless it's my sister. Today, I'm gonna be reviewing some curly clippings, and this is from the Amazing Beauty Hair. Now, I got two boxes, okay? Okay. All right, so I received two boxes from them, and um, in both boxes, I received um, extra clips for the clippings just in case you want to cut it and resize it. And I got a detangling comb. Actually, got two detangling combs, one in each box. And then I got two alligator clips, which are very convenient, guys. Invest in some. They're in the beauty supply store. Do not be stingy. Now, I received two bags of curly clip-ins and I'm just gonna show you guys how it looks coming straight out of the package um, this is just one box of it okay so this is how it looks now one thing about this is I have to let you know it's about 22 inches long so when you pull it it falls by your waist so it is 22 inches long but coming straight out of the package this is how it looks this is the curl pattern looks really nice and coily look i can't even tell y'all what my real hair type is okay because i do have heat damage from um the previous times when i would straighten my hair and that's why i stopped blow drying right now it's not blow dried even though it looks blow dried it's not um it actually was just stretched after i washed it um so it was like in braids and stuff so this is it and it's like stretched without blow dried length i'm gonna go in and i'm gonna wash them and you're going to see how the natural curl texture looks. Okay guys, so the hair is officially washed and this is how it looks. I inserted a small clip already, but as you guys can see, it is elongated because of course it's a little bit damp. The curls did switch up though. I was thinking about different styles I could do with this. You could definitely do a half up, half down. You could do a ponytail. You can do all down. You can do any style you want with curly clip-ins. All right, now my hair is very dirty. So please bear with me and my scalp is really dry, but I haven't put any products on it yet because I'm going to wash it tomorrow anyways. So for the middle part sides, I'm just going to take some sections that I'm going to use to hide the clip in. You don't want to take a, a side that's too thick, okay? You can be thick, but the, the parting doesn't got to be thick, okay? So boom, that's how the middle part looks. With a clip in, you can either braid your hair back or you could just take the whole thing pull it back and then you can put little braids here and then clip it down or you can clip in with your hair as in you could part a section clip it in part a section clip it in so i've pinned the back part of my hair up this is how it's looking now this is the easiest way to do it and all you have to do is go ahead and apply your clip in so you have two one clips clip-ins you have six two clip clip-ins two four clip clip-ins you have four three clip clip-ins so that brings you to 14 clip-ins in total i just wanted to let you guys know just in case you have a big head or a small head that this will definitely work for you and i'm just going to start down here and because my hair you want to make sure the braids are hella secure before you clip anything on them Now, the back doesn't have to be too perfect because who is looking in your kitchen, boo? Who? I, just let me know who's looking in your kitchen, okay? But for the back, I'm just going to really run through it really quickly because it does not have to be perfect at all. The front has to be perfect, my love. The front has to be. So far, it doesn't even look too thick. It doesn't look like a big house on my head. I'm liking that because I really don't like that look. All right, guys, so I've gotten all of the clippings into my hair. It doesn't look too bad. So now I'm going to put down the center part of my hair and see how it's looking. I'm dreading this a lot. I know my natural hair texture is not like 
the clip-ins so i'm going to go in with a little bit of eco styler this one is the olive oil and shea butter black castor oil version <laughs> oh let me wet my hair a little before you guys start cringing <laughs> the tragedy as you guys can see the ends of my hair it's kind of like blending with it a little it's just the top part which i can fix so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull out some parts of my hair and the clip in and then i'm just going to kind of like marry them together <laughs> for everyone who doubted me mm, this looks a mess where is my hair and where's the clip in i don't know hun. i don't know see my natural hair is showing its true colors like does not want to behave you guys see why i call her unruly and why she's lucky to be alive my hair gets really frizzy especially when i add water and products to it like it does not clump up because it does not it's not really like a true defined texture and that's why when people ask me like what type of hair do you have and i'm just like black hair i don't know okay so guys this is how it's looking right now not too bad let me tell you something let me tell you something come, come here come here Edges save everything. Edges save everything. I mean like, <laughs> look, if you don't have any edges, go get you some. Go get you some. If you gotta do hairline surgery, go get you some edges. You wanna know why? Because when all else fails, edges is always there. Edges are always gonna save the day. I, I mean like, go get you some. And I know for some people it's hard, but like, if I work harder for anything in life, it's for some edges. They save every look. I mean, if your hair looks dingy and you put some edges in your hair, you spruce up your little edges, you play in them, girl, you're good. The, the edges saved it for me. It's the edges for me. It, <laughs> it's the edges for me. The style is pretty much done. Right now I'm going to go into my second style because I want to show you guys that clip-ins, they're versatile. Like you can do anything with them. I'm going to go into my favorite all-time default style on my natural hair ever. This style is like cute. I do it on wigs too. Y'all know it's my favorite style. Yeah, I'm about to do it. Yeah. All right, I'm going to take these out and I'll get right back to y'all. This is the second style if y'all know what I'm about to do. You're a real one. Guys, I'm going to be doing a half a path down. Yes, I am. So starting off, I sectioned it into two parts, as you guys can see. And for the back, we're going to kind of do the same thing we just did. We're just going to go in and I'm just going to clip it all around the back. Just clip it all around. So I finished clipping in the back part and I just put a little bit of my natural hair as a leave out on top of that half section. I know the parting is bad. I can't see the back of my head, but this is my hair on top of it. Now, it does not have to be that perfect because this part will be falling over it. And one thing I have to say is um, I did not use any of the 4x4 clip-ins because that's going to help me with the ponytail. But for right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing I did before with my top leave out. I'm going to spray my hair just to get the texture to look somewhat like the clip-ins. The blending is not horrible. Like, it doesn't look that bad. It's just the roots are, like, really puffy. It's waving up, but it's, like, still puffy. Like, this is my hair. This is my hair. It's, like, waving up, but it's still very frizzy. So that's the only issue. Like, especially the roots. Oh, my goodness. My hair is laying nicely. I'm not mad at it. Y'all tell me, because I can't see the back. But I think the blending is much better right here. Wow. That's better. That's better. Now I'm going to do a high ponytail. You could either do one that's like right here or one that's right here. You know what? I think I'm going to do right here. This looks a little bit cuter. You know, I don't challenge myself in this direction as much. So far, 
I'm getting it slick, but as you guys can see, it's not as perfect. So you got to go in with a comb, a brush, something to go in, straighten it. One, one of my biggest pet peeves is when your ponytail has wrinkles in it. Honey, I didn't know your, your, your hair could age also. I mean, it can because you get gray hair, but comb it out. <laughs> Detangle it. Make it look nice, okay? All right, I've got it in the ponytail. Looks pretty sleek. I take an edge control. This is not my favorite one, but I take I love the I love this one. I take a good amount and what I do, watch this. You just rub it or you could put it on your hands. It doesn't even matter. All you have to do is rub it. This is going to get your hair even. I could just feel the difference. I mean, it just makes your hair lay flatter. Like look at that. <laughs> look at that. And all I do after this is I take a toothbrush and I run this up and look how slick. Oh my god. Don't worry, we're going to do edges later, but right now we're focusing on the ponytail. Look how laid this is. Now what I'm going to do is take the ends of my hair because I'm trying to protect that, okay? And I'm going to do a little twist. Actually, I'm going to do a braid. <laughs> This is key. Before I braid my ponytail, I'm going to take a headscarf and I'm just going to lay this flat because as soon as I'm done, I'm just going to move on to the next part. Braided the ends of my hair and the only thing I'm going to do, um, as I told you guys, I left the longer clip-ins until last. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them and clip it in and just wrap it around. Make sure not to damage your hair because at the end of the day, it's still your hair. Um, but I find that this way is a little bit more secure than doing a bun because it will show, okay? Alright, so the ponytail is, is almost done. This is how it looks right now. Added the hair to it. It's pretty... I like this. I like that. So I'm going to use a one clip and then I'm going to brush it out. All right, so this is how the ponytail looks. And um, it's pretty much done. Last thing I'm gonna do, guys, is attack my edges. And guys, this is basically it. I'm really loving this style. The only other thing that I would do to this hair right now is put some water in it and detangle the ends because I don't like when it gets like all big. I like when it has that wet, very like dropped look. So guys, one last tip that I can give you, if you realize that your hair is really sticking out, really not blending and it's bothering you, all you have to do, what I would do is take some gel with it and then I would twist my hair with the clip-in and what's gonna happen is it's gonna dry and it's gonna dry curled up with it. And you could kind of like, when it's dry, you could pull it apart and it's gonna have kind of that same pattern, that same twisted pattern. So it won't look that different. The ponytail is kind of sad, but it's not that big a deal. Another thing I would do with this too is make like a little faux bun. Ooh, that would be kind of cute. This, like, this is like another style you could do. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this little clip-in hair style video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give me a thumbs up down below. Make sure to subscribe to this channel because <laughs> I'm coming out with a vlog soon. You know, I'm turning 23 on the 21st of this month. Yes, I'm a Leo. Um, so I'm going to be vlogging my birthday. I'm actually kind of excited. So if you want to stick around for that and see a different type of vibe, then subscribe so you don't miss out when I drop my little 23 Jordan year of vlog. Okay guys, if you guys are interested in this clip in these clip-ins, make sure to check it out down below in the description box. So far what I've been realizing, the hair does shed a little bit. I mean, every time I do it, there's a little bit of shedding, but it's not drastic. I think, you know what? It's new and with all the brushing and everything and it's like you're just taking out of the packaging, I think it's shedding, but I'll follow up on that to see if it's 
sheds more as like when I'm doing it. Um, I have their straight clip-ins and I have no shedding with those. Um, so these are my first time, this is my first time trying out any type of curly clip-in. So I'm gonna watch it like a hawk, you know? I'm gonna be doing a lot of hairstyles with my curly clip-ins cause I do wanna wear my hair out more. Um, if you guys love this style, make sure to comment down below and tell me if you guys liked it down or if you guys liked it in the half up, half down. Um, I should have put my ponytail right here. I think I'm going to do that when I end the video. But um, yeah, I will definitely check in with you guys. If you guys like this, make sure to give me a thumbs up down, um, down below. Make sure to follow my socials. Also, stalk me. I like a good stalker. Not really but kind of, on my social medias. Um, but guys, I'll see you in the next video. Until then, try a clipping or two, hun, because your hair needs it. Bye!